Hi guys, it's me, Jimmy Agik. If you want to become a game developer but you are thinking to go back to college, then please don't do it. Hey, it's a quick video how you can become a game developer, full game developer, whether you want to become a 2D game developer, 3D game developer without going to college. Now, subscribe to my channel, make sure to watch this video till end. And to make sure to check out all of the links in the description box below. Now let's get started. Whether you're building a 2D game or you want to build a 3D game, you need to know some kind of basic fundamental of game development. There are five main positions in the game development team. Most of the time, the AAA games or even the indie title games are built in a game development team. Five to ten people are building game do games like for, for what's called Angry Angry Bird or a single person can even build an entire game like the Flappy Bird, which was built by a Vietnamese guy. So there are five positions which you need to aware of, and then if you are building the game solely by yourself, I mean you want to become a solo game developer, then you need to fulfill this position. But do not worry, I mean you can't be all thing at one time, but there is a quick way around i will talk it later in this video first is the game producer to put it in a easy word game producer is a manager so basically like a construction manager you can say he just manage all over the stuff i mean whatever is going in the construction field and then second is game designer so the game designer is like a architecture which is building a building so number three is the game artist a game artist can be like the interior designer can you see my back wall i mean this uh, tree paper wall is really good this is done by the interior designer so basically you can just say that i'm interior designer i mean just design i mean he make sure that everything look beautiful and then number four is game music composer or producer or whatever you want to call it you can say that he is responsible as a painter in a game world i mean the painter who paint the wall who paint the floor who paint whatever you know to paint in the construction world and then number five is the game developer i mean or you can say a game programmer game programmer game developer is the same word so you can say like a carpenter i mean if he building a wooden floor or, or is he building this wooden table table he is a carpenter or a construction worker so five position you need to be aware of while you are building a game game producer game designer game artist game music and game developer so this video is about game developer i will tell you how you can fulfill other how you can get a music for free or how you can easily create your own music or how you can buy graphic in this video so now let's move on to i mean how you can build graphic if you're building a triple a game of course i mean that kind of stuff is done by the game artist or game graphic designer but you are building a small game just to so see whether you like to come in a game development field or you just want to earn money so you can just do it i mean i will say start with 2d game 2d game development graphic are called bitmap photoshop is used for big uh, bitmap graphic and then adobe illustrator is used for vector a lot of game developers indie game developers are going to start a fight here my personal opinion is that if you are trying to build like a pixel type game i mean 16 bit game like an atari game i mean if you want to build a game which is like pixel type game use photoshop you bitmap bitmap graphic if you want to build a game like flappy bird angry bird where i mean the graphic can easily scale to hd or even can run on a low android phone or on a web i will say use vector vector software vector software is illustrator but even i will give you free software in this video so if you want to build a bitmap or a pixel type graphics photoshop again you can use even you can use a gym which is a free the link in the description box below but you can watch a 20 minutes video in the description box below the link is there how to create the pixel graphics very freaking easy i mean if you have photoshop you can easily create within 20 minutes it's really much easier for creating the pixel graphic or a bitmap graphic compared to the vector graphic so now here are the tools which you can use to create the bitmap graphic bitmap graphic first not the 
uh, not the vector graphic bitmap bitmap graphic can't scale if you try to scale them it will distort but if you use vector graphic you can easily scale to how much size you like without making the quality loose so number one best tool for creating the bitmap graphics photoshop number two crawl painter number three gimp or gym g-i-m-p which is a free i mean if you really are starting out just download game and then create the uh, graphic and then number three is called karita again free i mean it's a how to say a small competition to photoshop but again it's free and number five is pixlr uh, or pixr i can't pronounce it i mean a lot of developer even can't pronounce it just check out the link in the description box below whether you call it pixlr or pixr I really do not care. It's a free so in the five tools: Photoshop, Crawl, Painter, which are freaking expensive, but you will get what you pay for, and three of them are free: Jim, uh, Krita, and Flix Art. And then now for the vector graphic, I will always say I mean design a game in vector graphics, so you can easily I mean for example there's a new iPad come up with a 4K. You don't need to design a graphic from ground up you can easily scale the graphic for the 4k ipad so adobe illustrator my favorite i use that adobe flash uh uh no idea i never use that i use i learn adobe flash i mean at that time it was called micromedia flash i think if you don't know adobe bought flash or micromedia if i'm not wrong i was in college at that time and i learned number three coral draw and then now here's a free one a lot of indie developer a lot of game developer who are just starting out always use inscape inscape is free so now you could create 2d graphic i mean within this tool but what about if you really want to step up the game i mean you will be saying jimmy tell us how we can create like i mean awesome graphics you should buy a tablet where is my tablet i'm not talking about my ipad i'm talking about a tablet i can't find my webcam i just bought it two days ago i mean i'm building my game i will talk about that later so anyway i don't know where my put where my wife have put my tablet basically i just did, did unboxing even make sure to watch out that video i don't know where it is anyways it's a 17 dollar Wacom tablet i mean you can easily buy from amazon.com come but if you really don't want to use a tablet again you could just use a normal mouse to design a graphic you don't know a tablet a tablet come with a pen i mean it's a tablet you just use like a pencil i mean and then suddenly i mean you are start creating it's like drawing on a real paper in simple word but even if you don't want to go that route i mean you like you are like me a game developer i mean who's not so good at graphic design forget about graphic design you can buy graphic design as low as ten dollar on graphicriver.com link is in the description box below so for for buying graphic is called game asset you can buy game asset from graphicriver.com or even you can get free game asset free game graphic like the character back background on opengameart.org so now you really don't have a excuse you can buy game graphic or game asset like game background game character for only 10 us dollar but if you are that broke i mean you can't afford that then you can go to open game art my personal opinion is that just buy the 10 dollar graphic from the game river.com even rather than design your own but what about 3d i mean you can get 2d graphic frequently yes 3d graphic will, will be expensive because 3d graphic are designed in animation software so but again you can get a 3d graphic 3d graphic are called 3d game model 2d graphic are always called game asset and 3d graphic are called 3d game model which you can get on turbo squid i mean you can get from turbo squid the prices range what kind of your thing for example if i'm building a game like a jungle 3d game i need a horse i can buy a horse for five bucks a 3d horse and then i can import in my game engine and then here are some more website do uh, deck soft unity asset store and then you can what about the music now 
let's jump into music i already give you some links how you can how you can basically buy graphic or how you can create your own graphic so i mean creating graphic is not a big problem you can buy graphic you can download it for free or you can create graphic with a mouse or you can step up the game by using a tablet uh, wacom tablet but now for music again you can create your own music of course you're not a singer you're not a music composer anyways so oh, so now here's some website where you can get music for free or you can buy music so unity asset store you can buy the music uh, for five to ten bucks free sound which is a free website which is called freesound.org or newground which is not a free website you need to buy the music but you want to create your own music you want to create your own soundtrack like a super mario soundtrack i mean when the mario jump he hit the he hit the box and then he get the coin like that kind of soundtrack i mean you can use a paid one adobe or or the station or you can use avid pro tool or you can use a free one Personally, I'm using a free one. A lot of even professional game developers use Audacity. Audacity is free. So, I mean, you just need to put this kind of headphone, I mean, on your earbox like this. And then you just need to, I mean, play with the mouse and keyboard. And then just try to make a random soundtrack up to when you are satisfied. I mean, creating a music soundtrack. I mean, for 2D, most of the 2D games do not have any voice acting. It's just soundtrack on the background, which is running. You can buy it. Even you can go to on Fiverr.com. I mean, just search game soundtrack. Link in the description box for five bucks. For only five bucks, you can get a soundtrack. Personally, I'm designing my own soundtrack but if i will be working on another game i will just go to fiverr and then just get a i mean five bucks soundtrack if you want a good soundtrack on five bucks you should be spending like 20 bucks i mean again it's not expensive to become a game developer so now what about music creation basically i talk about i mean i mean creating your own i mean basically soundtrack there's a difference between music creation and soundtrack. I mean, a soundtrack can be like anything. I mean, it can be a jingle. A music creation is like, I mean, a professional music creation. You are editing your voice. You're putting in a soundtrack. You're putting some bass. A little bit different. If 2D game only need most of the time a soundtrack. But if you have some voice acting, if you can get an actor from Fiber, I mean, if you give your script to him, he can act the voice acting for you. And then, here yeah, are some more tools for music editing or music creation you can use ever pro tools you can use apple garage band which is free on mac only available on mac or you can use sony x asset but there are two more tools like mix link in the description box for free or you can use hydrogen personally i will recommend use garage band if you have mac one of the best tools available in the world for free music creation or you can use the mix but you don't really have to be a game artist to create the music i mean you can buy soundtrack you can buy music you can do a lot of stuff that's for sound music and then graphics again up to right now i have shown you the links i have told you that you don't need to be an artist you don't need to be a game music composer to become a game developer to build your game you can basically build your music i mean using simple free tools or you can just buy it for freaking cheap as five bucks 20 bucks now here is for a game engine a lot of people think that they need to write a game natively no way no one really write a game natively i mean even a triple game never written natively they create a game engine a game engine is a game engine like um like an animation software which is like a drag and drop i mean you really don't need to write every line of code there's a really good game engine in the world i mean a game engine is like how to say i mean a big box where you will put things together i mean where you will be importing your music where you will basically try to import the graphic and then try to give him the movement so creating a game is really easy so number one is the best 2d game engine is called game maker studio I mean there's a free one even there's a paid version with the free one yes you can build a game go with a paid version game maker studio my personal favorite but I will say no some JavaScript when you are using this one and if you are too poor you are not ready to learn JavaScript there's one of my favorite game engine for beginners require no coding which is called construct 2 watch my video game maker was a construct 2 construct 2 is the best beginner game engine you just need to import i may just need to give them movement 
there can't be anything better than construct 2 but there's some limitation i mean the performance will be not fast as if you use a game maker and then here yeah, stanley unity 3d even you can build uh, 2d games on unity 3d unreal engine 4 so most of the time the developers build a game in a game engine and then they export the game you need to make sure uh, whether the game engine support the platform you want to export to i mean like the construct 2 the construct 2 can basically export game to nintendo vu it can create a game for vu even the same time it can create a game for a web or mobile but game maker can't personally i'm using right now for my how to say a pitfall uh how to say a uh, uh, spiritual successor i don't want to get sue i'm just saying a, 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 how to say spiritual successor my original game my original ip idea is a 2d game i'm working hard now i own the right no one can sue me but i can say that i mean i should give credit to a game basically this game is built on a pitfall idea the original pitfall idea and it will be using some unique idea to it i'm using construct 2 why not because i am i'm too lazy to code my game because i am building this game for the web i it, it would be a free game available on the web i mean and then it i will basically go with the pc i will talk about how you can build a game and then launches for a pc i mean you know download the game install it and then later i will be making my game available on nintendo v you need to be a nintendo developer which i'm currently in the process of becoming i'm just signing uh, all of the what application form for the nintendo anyways now back to your topic if you're building a 3d games now it's only here for a 3d games you need animation the a lot of people use Autodex Maya, Autodex 3D Max, ZBrush, Cinema 4D or a free one called Blender. Personal opinion go with Blender. You can't afford, I mean if you are watching my video you are too poor to afford these tools. If you can afford I will say go with Cinema 4D or 3D, Ma uh, 3D Max stay away from Maya. I mean I think Maya costs around 5000 US dollar 3D Max similar price. Personal opinion go with Blender. It's free a lot of indie developers are using blender a lot of game studio are using blender it's freaking free i mean you really don't have to pay a dime to it i mean i basically i i learned how to use 3d max but i'm not a big fan of 3d max because it's really expensive i learned while i was is while i was in college i'm not going to buy 3d max for 5000 us dollar anyways if you really want to get a paid one go with cinema 4d now for the game programming language some a lot of game engine are built on pacific like the unity engine game engine which can support c sharp or javascript like the game maker on construct 2 which basically support javascript my personal opinion for building a 2d game there's a different game programming language for a 3d game for a 2d game javascript python c sharp and then for a 3d game c plus plus c sharp and java if you are building a 2d game javascript 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 buy this head first book this is the world's best javascript book ever written on this planet i'm not trying to i mean basically how to say get sponsor from uh, whatever uh, o'reilly publisher but in reality this is a really good book but if you want to build a 3d game i will say get a c++ for dummies c++ for dummies best book for beginners it's not a really good book for i mean uh, advanced level but to get grasp the concept of c++ get this book so so i mean again i will say my personal opinion javascript Stay away from Python, C Sharp, JavaScript. Build 2D game. It will be much easier for you. You really don't have to learn a lot of stuff. I mean, you will be building a 2D game like, like Flappy Bird, Angry Bird. Learn JavaScript. I mean, JavaScript, 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 and then learn a little bit with HTML, CSS. If you want to build your first game for the web browser. So now, what about when you have built your game? How you should sell your game on the web? under money which of course you want to do 
um, that is called game portal I mean game portal is a game website where you sell your game and then you will get like 70% of the game revenue 30% the game portal or the game website on which you are publish your game will get so here are some game portal uh, or game website where you can publish your game game gate gog amazon game publishing humble store green man gaming do do sura stay away from do sura poor sale your game will not get enough sale to earn money my personal opinion is that go with gamer gate or amazon gaming publishing but your game will be only available on kindle or you can go with steam but the problem is that in beginning stay away from steam i mean if you don't know the green light problem i mean if you are publishing your 2D or 3D game on Steam, I mean you need to basically to run a campaign. In that campaign, you need to get enough work to make your game publi publishable in beginning stay away unless you have 3 or 4 games published already and then go with Steam. In beginner, if you really don't want to go with any of this website, you can just buy a domain and put a game on your own website. The problem will be that the traffic. If you go with like game portal there will be already people are in this website buying the games it's up to you my personal opinion go with gamergate but you want to make a game for pc only to maximize the performance i mean yes you can use a game engine to build a game in javascript for pc and then it will export to like c plus plus code and then you need some kind of installer it will be not like playing a game on a web browser it, it will be like playing a game offline i mean install installation for example for example if uh, you know, like for example like buying a game like whatever like quake 3 hello one or gts on Android or any pc game like skyrim we we basically buy it i'm not talking about buying a steam i'm talking about buying natively from the website you download it and then install it or a game on a cd so you need to you need to use some kind of installer so here's a free installer called in in no step which is free and then now is another topic drm drm basically mean digital drm basically mean digital rm protection which basically mean if you put drm in your game no one can pirate your game but stay away from drm i mean in steam i think if your game of drm you are not allowed to publish your game a lot of people will say I'm sporting uh, pri uh, privacy I'm not sporting any stuff like that why the problem with DRM is that it slow down your performance I mean it's I mean it really bog on the computer I mean because DRM is protect trying to protect your game no one can crack while it's protecting your game is slow down your game stay away from it but here again some drm you want to use you can use the win license or you can use the x shield link in the description box below but a lot of developers make games in game engine rather than coding so here i will say that i mean use construct 2 if you have no programming experience if you have some programming experience use game maker if you want to build a 3d game use the unity 3d but what about learning you want to learn the game development for free here are some best courses available so game design and development by michigan state university available on coursera which i'm currently taking that online specialized certificate you can take it for free how to take it for free basically go to the link and then say pay by per course after you say pay by per course you will be navigate to a paypal or credit card payment under the bottom you can see a small text written in black apply for financial aid just click that and just try to tell them that why you want to build a game you are so motivated just fill in the application form immediately you will be given access to the course the only the requirement is that you need to pass every course to maintain your financial aid i'm always taking nowadays courses like before i pay for a lot of courses now today i'm just taking on coursera as a financial aid i just apply financial aid and then do it for free and get my certificate it's simple and the second course is by game design art and concept by california institute of art again available on the coursera website link in the description box below take it for free by applying the financial aid and then now another course available is on edx which is made by mit introduction to game design 
make sure to take these three courses game design and game development on Coursera by Michigan State University game design art and concept by California Institute of Art on Coursera and the introduction of game design by MIT on EDX but now some books and give some basically game design books and then some game how to say develop a motivational book and then make sure to buy the indie books all of the links are in the description box below so i'm not going to name the books so at the end play some games to become a game developer i'm not talking about just pick up your playstation 4 and then try to play that game i'm talking about play a game which teach you how to do programming i'm talking about cold combat if you don't know cold combat you're living in a stone age click the link in the description box below code com com combat.com just go to www.codecombat.com make your account sign up i really do not care or you are going to sign in or sign up with facebook or whatever the hell you are doing but make sure use javascript you want to build a game for javascript i think they have like javascript i mean you can you can you can play code combat is like an rpg game you can play the game in javascript language or in a python language so what is the concept behind i will need to type the line of code for example my character need to attack some kind of like some kind of uh, alien for example there they are no alien days like an elephant in the game and some monster for example my character need to attack some monster how i will attack i will type move uh, i will basically type, type a javascript command i mean move up uh open a blanket which you which you which we call basically the parenthesis and then press enter and then he will go he will attack this is like the beginning commands and then when you level up you will your game will become more tough it is very hard to explain in a video i know i look like a complete asshole on this video while explaining you code combat just go there and then try to play that game i mean i want to see i mean at least at least spend like four and five hours of game i mean you can say that you're playing a world of warcraft while you're learning game when you finish that game you will know very good programming language and then again buy these books in recap learn javascript make your 2d game using game maker or construct to buy graphic or create your own graphic use free software or paid software it doesn't really matter that thing you need is discipline when you're going to build your game give a time like one month you can build a one month 2d game you really don't need to build an entire game you can build a one level game and then by using game engine you can export your game to android or io as again it depends on, on, on which platform i will say save for ios i mean if you put your game on ios earning money is really freaking i'll go with android much better or just publish your game on some kind of game website to earn the money if your game is broken right to take the criticism and to try to fix that game your first game will be a broken boring mess but celebrate it because you have worked hard to create that game do not try to listen to people i mean who are saying that you should not make them tell them f you i'm going to make my second game i'm going to make a successor i know my first game is going to be a broken mess but I'm going to make a part two of it. If my part two is a broken mess, I'm going to make a part three of it. And then there's a movie called Indie Game Developer or Indie the Game Movie. I forgot the name. I will include the link. Watch that movie. How game developer create the movies. I mean, you really need motivation and then about all you need discipline. One month time span, you can build the entire 2D game on your own. I will say build like four and six levels which will be enough I mean and they try to just put on on your website on game portal on game website on whatever platform you want it doesn't really matter in the beginning the thing matter is that you have built your game you have done the hard work and then you want to see whether you can earn money or not I'm building a game because I want to build a game second I want to earn money simple as that and then if you really want to learn more in depth about game programming make sure to watch my introduction to game programming and game developer lecture on professor Rame. i hope you like it nowadays you really don't have to go to game college 
or game institute or university to get a four year crappy degree a lot of people are asking me should they get a game development a lot of people are asking me should they get a bachelor degree from a full set university why you want to waste like 65 75 grand 75,000 I mean it's cost like I think 65 on full sale right 65,000 US dollar 65 65 $100 budget you can create a 2d game I mean if you spend like $1,000 you can buy some better graphics I mean you just I mean you uh, ah Still, I can't understand it really make me mad you just download a good game engine and then just buy some good graphic and then try to make a game out of it if you really can't design your own graphic. Huh? Who the hell really care about a degree? The thing is care, can you build a game four years? You can build a game in one month. Go to four years, stupid scam university stay away from full sale. Full scale sale is a scam university. I have said, I will say again, I will say again, 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 again. Full sale is a scam university. If they want to sue me, they can go ahead and sue me. A lot of people are saying full sale university students have said that is a scam. Then I have full authority, I have a full freedom of speech to say full sale university is a scam. Even do not try to go to your public university for a game development bachelor because they will be teaching you outdated stuff in game development. The field is very volatile. I mean, a game developer career is not like a solid career there's no job security i mean but as an indie game developer who is building game putting on the net putting on the mobile devices just to earn money and then just for living much better yes you can become a millionaire if your game becomes successful like a flappy bird or angry bird most of the time you will know most of the time your single broken game will be bringing you 10 to 20 us dollar per month if you put 10 games, you can multiply like 30 US dollar times 300 US dollar you will be earning per month. If you if you have really put effort in building a really solid experience, you can earn like 500 bucks for, per month for one game. And put 10 games, you can live your life happily. Again, make sure you check out the link in the description box where this video was an all rounder, I mean a video to give you a full overall exposure to game development what kind of tools you can use stay motivated and then make sure to leave in the comment box below are you building your next 2d game or 3d game or not and then make sure to check out the links for the coursera and edx take the free game education right now it's me jimmy a key bye bye stay motivated